What is the best time to eat before a workout? Then at the end of this video, I'll also be sharing the best pre-workout foods and the foods you should avoid before your workout. <laughs> On today's episode of Live Lean TV, I'm answering a viewer question who asked, how many hours before a workout should I eat? And this is another post from our hashtag TBT Q&A series. Now we filmed these questions back in 2012. So first I'm gonna share my answer to this question from 2012. Then I'm gonna answer the same question again today while also sharing the best pre-workout foods as well as the foods you should avoid before your workout. So please make sure you watch all the way to the end of this video to get all the info on getting the game. But before I share that stuff, make sure you smash that subscribe button right down there with notifications turned on so you never miss an episode. All right, with all that said, let's first quickly jump back to see my quick answer from 2012. From Dark Nature 85 how much time ago should you consume a pre-workout meal before going to the gym for strength training? Is there an optimal range? Excellent question. It depends on you, your body, but you need to leave at least an hour when you eat a full meal before your workout because your body is consuming that food, it's digesting that food. And when you're in the gym and you're lifting weights, the body is not gonna be digesting your food for you. So it just might just sit in your stomach if you're in there lifting weights. Make sure you give yourself at least 60 minutes. I do probably about two hours before workout, I'll eat a solid meal and then go into the gym, rip it out and start building muscle. All right, now here's my answer seven years later. Eat a solid, high protein meal at least 45 minutes to two hours before your workout. Now, this is typically the bare minimum amount of time to allow your body to properly digest the food prior to your training. Let me first share the goal of the pre-workout meal. So the primary goal of the pre-workout meal is to improve the performance of your workout. Pretty obvious, right? Now, there's the two most important ways to prime your body to crush your next workout is with number one, sustained energy, and number two, enhanced brain function. So to ensure you have sustained energy during your workout, it's important to include foods in your pre-workout meal that will help stabilize your blood sugar. And the second important aspect of that pre-workout meal, which is not often talked about, is enhancing your brain function before training. So by activating your brain power before you work out, it'll help you stay focused and improve your drive and your motivation during the workout. So you can enhance your brain function by eating foods that are precursors to the production of neurotransmitters dopamine and acetylcholine. And one of the other benefits of eating before workout is it may help boost EPOC. So AKA boosting your metabolism during your recovery after your training. All right, so now let's get into the best pre-workout foods. Now the best pre-workout foods to help you accomplish both of these goals, so energy and brain function before your training is meat and nuts. So yes, I first learned about the meat and nuts breakfast back in 2013, which I did a video on. You can watch it right here. This came from the late strength coach, Charles Paul Quinn. Now this meal is high in protein and healthy fats, not carbohydrates. So unlike what Many people think your body does not require energy from foods high in carbohydrates like you know your typical oats or bananas before your workout. Not only can these high carbohydrate foods quickly elevate and then crash your blood sugar levels during your workout, this will also produce serotonin that is another neurotransmitter that often makes you feel sleepy. So guys, being sleepy and lethargic is not how you wanna feel during your workout. So by eating meat and nuts, it'll help raise your blood sugar very slowly, then help stabilize it so you have that sustained energy during your workout. And if you follow a regular meal cadence, so regular meals throughout the day, your muscle glycogen levels will be full enough to fuel your typical 45 to 60 minute workout without having all that pre-workout carbohydrates. And I mean, let's be real, filling up your mu muscle glycogen takes more time than just simply pounding back a bowl of cereal before your workout. And since you'll be burning through this muscle glycogen during your workout, this makes the post-workout meal the optimal time to consume your carbohydrates. So I often get the question is, what if I can't eat a pre-workout meal? So if you're too busy to eat a high protein pre-workout meal, or you train on an empty stomach, this makes the speed of the post-workout meal even more important, meaning you need to get this post-workout meal in fast. So the post-workout meal is important as it speeds up 
recovery and breaks your body out of that catabolic muscle breakdown state after a workout. And another question I get is what if I can't eat a post-workout meal? Well, so on the flip side of this, you may find that you can't eat immediately after work. Like maybe you have to go back to the office or whatever it is. This makes a high protein pre-workout meal even more important as it can allow you to extend that post-workout meal window for up to two hours so you don't need to eat right away. Okay, so now that you have that like kind of overview on pre-workout meals, now here are the foods that you should avoid before your workout because certain foods can take longer to digest, it can cause metabolic issues, and it can hinder your focus. So based on this, the following foods should be limited before your workout. I'm talking about high sugar drinks, including you know your popular sports drinks, high fructose foods, including high fructose fruits like apples, as they can actually hinder burning stored fat for fuel and cause the digestion issues during your workout. Also wheat, grains, beans, and if you have lactose issues, dairy, as these foods typically are not digested well. And and then foods high in saturated fats like cheese and fatty meats like bacon can be tough to digest quickly before a workout. So now that you know the foods to avoid, here's what you should eat before your workout. Again, you should be focused on eating foods that help sustain blood sugar levels and enhance brain function and are easily digested by your body. Now, the foods that fit these criteria are great pre-workout foods. Now, the best pre-workout protein sources are lean meat or fish as, again, these are easily digested by the body. And if you can effectively digest lactose, you could also go with Greek yogurt. And if you don't have access to solid food or you're tight for time, you can also go with a whey protein powder and throw in some coconut oil. And I actually did a video on quick pre-workout meals that you can go watch right here. All right, now the best pre-workout healthy fat sources, we're talking about medium chain triglycerides such as coconut oil because they're easily digested and since it's a medium chain fat, they can be used for immediate energy. And foods high in omega-3 fats can increase blood flow and nutrients to the muscles and help fight inflammation. And we got dark chocolate and cacao powder because they can also help increase blood flow to the muscles. And then we have nuts such as almonds almonds and walnuts as they are easily processed by the body and they help fuel your brain function. Okay guys, so there you go Live Lean Nation. I hope this video cleared up what is the best time to eat before a workout and it provided you with the best pre-workout foods to help you crush your next workout. And as always, if you're looking for the best workout and nutrition plan for your goals, go take our Live Lean Body Program Selector Quiz to get access to your program. I'll put the link to that quiz in the video description down below. And in the comments below, guys, tell me, when do you eat your pre-workout meal and what foods do you eat before your workout? And of course, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please help us grow this channel by smashing that like button down below. It helps get these videos out to more people. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep living lean.